So this is a bit of a different video, but because I have such limited space in my van, the regular litter boxes that I could find were too tall for the areas that I wanted to actually place this. Um, I have a 14 inch height limit for these. So I, what I've done is I've bought two identical uh, boxes here. These are just trays, not boxes. For some reason, the boxes, when they have the big tall thing, the bottom half is also big and tall. And that's kind of silly to me. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but these basically fit sort of together here. There's this wave shape. It's not perfect. Uh, for instance, where this, this hole here is, there will always be a hole there. Um, but it's, it's pretty close. Now, I want to put a filter in here, and I've bought a replacement filter for the ones that have filters in the lids. Um, that's just going to help with the smell, I hope. So I want to put that here. You can see this has a tall, a short side and a long side. I want to put the filter up on the short side here, like this. And then I want to open up this part here and so that the cat can actually enter in this way. And then I need to find some way of connecting these two. And my solution for that is actually to use some Velcro. So I bought this uh, Velcro stripping. It's on one side, it's the soft side, one side it's the hooks. And this is for holding things uh, together sort of in, in bundles, like you can see on the cover of this thing here. So I'm thinking if I glue that in strategic spots around here, and then I do the opposite side on the lid, that will work out. So it looks like I actually get two of these, so that's kind of a bonus. And then these are basically meant to be cut to fit a filter size for um, whatever box you have. But I'm making my own, so I'm just going to leave them this way. I've just used a Sharpie to mark where the corners of the filter are. So I've just used a Sharpie and a straight edge to make a square here that's just inside of where those marks are. So this should actually fit over top of that completely. Like so. Okay, so I've just used a hole saw here to cut a hole in the plastic. I'm then gonna use that hole to give me access to cut out this square. Okay, so underneath this filter is a hole. It's been all cut out and that should provide me with exactly what I need. Okay, so you can see I've just used some painter's tape to tape the filter in place, which means that from this side, it looks pretty smooth. On the front side here, which is the long part of the box, I've cut out a little door here. I'm not sure whether I'll keep this attached or not. I'm thinking right now that I won't, um, and that I will just actually keep it open like this. I'll hold on to this if I ever want to reattach it though. So for now, this is what it's gonna be like. That's pretty much the box completed. I just need to make the Velcro attachment. Okay, so I actually got lucky. I found some of these uh, Velcro dots that I had from a previous project and they work perfectly. So there we go, just do that. Now you're able to lift it up. Those are connected. I have my filter here, entrance for the cat on this side. There is a gap here. Um, that's the only downside to this design. Actually, there's actually a gap that goes all the way around, but uh, yeah, good enough. Okay, so this is where my litter box is going to be. It's just under my passenger seat here. It's the perfect size. And it means that it's super easy for me to pull it out and have access to clean it, which is something you, know, you probably wanna do once a day. I was originally going to put it back there um, behind the driver's seat. Um, that's a pretty good spot because it's kind of a little more private and stuff like that, but it's way too hard to access and I need to be able to clean it quickly. So something that's very important to me is that Luna has the ability to see the outside world. That's really important for cats. So I want to be able to have this window uh, open also to have some breeze come in to keep this nice and cool. It's really important when I have my fantastic fan that I have this open to cool down the space. When this is shut, uh, it's really hard to control the temperature that way. But obviously I don't want her to get out. So uh, what I've done is I've actually made a screen 
that hides behind these curtains here. And I'm just going to take that off right now. Oh my gosh, I actually took, so <laughs> this is the screen. It folds up like this so that it will fit underneath of the rail here and underneath of here. Uh, it's got Velcro on this side to keep it in place and it's actually pulled the Velcro on the bottom lip right off. Okay, so I've put in way more staples and I've removed the Velcro on the window frame from the top and bottom. So now it's just on the sides. So now when you put this in place, Yeah, nice and secure. Okay, so I've got my folded up screen and I've got my windowsill with Velcro on the sides. Goes up, goes down, smack it in. All right, so there we go. This is actually really secure. You can press on this. It's not coming out. Still kind of hard to get this off. But it's definitely doable to remove this screen now. Um, pretty much, I it's just going to stay put for the summer, more or less. But still want it to be able to be removed. One of the very first objects that Luna was interested in was my wood stove. Uh, right out of coming out of her crate, she was sniffing around it. I think uh, the ash smell was interesting to her, but she hasn't shown any signs of ever wanting to go up on it. I haven't seen her do that anyway. Um, I don't think she likes it. It's probably cold. Um, but I don't want her learning that it's a good idea to go on top of the stove. So I put some tape on it that's uh, upside down, so it's super sticky. And she hates that, um, absolutely hates it, um, which is the point. So if she steps on it, it'll stick to her paws. Um, and yes, yeah, when I put the tape on, she was like, oh, what are you doing? And she jumped up on it. And this really works. She does not like it at all. So the idea is that she'll just learn to avoid it. And that uh, in the winter, if I use it, um, she won't have any interest in jumping up on it. And of course, I would only use it... Uh, well, I'm supervising her and stuff like that. Um, so uh, it's just something that I'm thinking ahead for. Like right now, it's fine if she lies on it, but I don't want her thinking that that's okay um, because it could potentially be dangerous down the road. The cab of the van gets really hot because it's full of glass and there's no fantastic fan down there like there is up here. And this door really helps keep things cool when it's closed. If I leave and this is uh, closed with the fan on. Things are nice and cool down here. But the problem is, is that Luna can't open this door to go use her litter box. So I'm going to install a cat door down at the bottom. Okay, so I've just marked out where I want the cat door to be. And basically, yeah, this is what I'm going to be cutting out. It's not an important part of the mural either, which is great. Okay, so it's time for me to cut this out. I'm going to start by drilling a hole here and then cutting it out with the jigsaw. I've actually got myself a bunch of new tools, uh, not specifically for this job, but with this in mind, certainly, um, just so that I'll be able to uh, use the same batteries and have a system that will work. This is great if I ever need to do some renovations or stuff like that. Having tools that run on batteries is just important for that when you don't have a place to plug in. Okay, so there's the hole. Um, this is actually measured up from Luna's waist, so she should just be able to step through it. I am going to make a flap, but I think I'm going to wait on that. Um, this isn't super even. I want to put in like a, uh, a little bit of a frame here so it looks a little nicer and clean this up. Um, I'm going to sand down these edges so that she doesn't get hurt. But also I'm just going to let her use this for a little bit so that she gets used to going in and out of here before I add the flap. Here's what that hole looks like from this side. Okay, so I've just sanded around the edges, and we should be good for her to use this now. So I've just masked off this hole. I want to paint the inside here so it just looks a little nicer. 
And this side here, I've actually left a little bit of a frame. You can see here that uh, some of this outside portion here is left over. And that's because it's not as even on this side. Uh, jigsaws tend to leave one side worse for wear, and I don't want to try and clean it up because that'll just end up affecting the nice side. So I'm going to basically just paint this black, and there'll be a frame around here to sort of hide a little bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're here. Hello, Luna. Well, I guess the pet door works, doesn't it? Okay, so Luna showed a lot of interest in this painting process, particularly in wanting to sniff and lick the paint. And I didn't let her do that, so to keep that trend going, I'm just going to let this dry inside the wall cavity here. Um, yeah, that shouldn't really make a difference to how it's going to dry, but it should make a difference to what Luna accidentally ingests. Okay, so here we go. That's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. This is what it looks like finished on the inside here. Um, I think that that little border helps a little bit. Here's the other side in the living space. And you can see here that, especially at the top here, a lot of damage got done to the mural here when I cleaned it up. So I'm going to have to put some sort of border on here. And then I'm planning on putting in some sort of cat flap there just to deal with light. And also perhaps some way of blocking it off if I didn't uh, want her getting through. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, but I'm right now I'm thinking I'm going to be using some sort of cloth, perhaps felt, that would go down in strips. Kind of like you would see at a car wash. Okay, so on this side here I've just added this sort of felt uh, strips here. Um, obviously this doesn't completely cover the door or anything like that because the felt pulls away from itself but it does sort of provide uh, a little bit of a visual barrier going through. My goal right now is to get Luna to go through this door with this here. I'm pretty sure she'll be able to do it um, pretty quickly. Okay. So I'm just waving the toy on the other side here. Oh, and she sees she can do it. <laughs> Perfect. As cool as I thought this little flap was, it's just not quite enough in terms of blocking out light, stuff like that. So I've added a bit of foam on the back there, uh, which can swing back and forth, um, which hopefully will help cut down on some of that. The other thing this bit of foam here does is it also just helps with a little bit of the wind transfer between the front and the back, because I want that to be minimal, obviously, with hot air in the front. So... Now we gotta see if she'll go through something opaque. Well, she's figured it out. My landlady gave me this cat bed. She used to have a cat, but she doesn't anymore. And as soon as I brought this into the van, Luna was really interested in it. And she got right in it and sat down and sniffed it out, and then she fell asleep in it. And she's been in there for several hours, ever since I brought it back. But it's incredible. She feels safe in it. Like, uh, almost like um, she does when she's hiding under the bed. But she does, she's not afraid. So, she's really scared of the doors in here. They make a loud noise, scraping noise when they open. And she freaks out. <laughs> uh, she's been getting better. You know, now she doesn't really freak out so much as she just sort of, like, leaves. the. She'll leave the cab if she's up here go into the back or whatever um, but when she's lying in this she just sort of looks up sees it's opening but she feels safe in her space so she stays there so this is a really great gift I'm really really happy with it because yeah it's just incredible she now has her own little bed which is just perfect <laughs>